Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome back to this course on R. In this video, we're going to be talking about data structures. So let's maybe go through a little bit of theory and that is in R, everything is an object. Now instead of making every single data point its own object, we can organize the data into a structure that then becomes its own object. And this helps the computer work faster and more efficiently. Now there are some common data structures such as vectors, lists, matrices, data frames, and arrays. And in this video, just because we're conscious of time, we're gonna focus on the two most popular ones, which are vectors and data frames. So let's maybe start off with vectors. Vectors are one dimensional data structures with homogeneous elements of a given length. Now homogeneous just means similar and the opposite of homogeneous is heterogeneous, which means different. And a list is similar to a vector um, in the sense that it's also a one dimensional data structure, but this time a list will have heterogeneous elements of a given length. So that's the difference between a list and a vector is what type of elements we're looking at. But let's focus on vectors and let's look at some examples of our vectors. Now, to create these in R, uh, we use simply this function called C and then we open up the brackets and we just list them inside. So if I was to actually do this in R, uh, so in R I would then type in days equals C, open up my brackets and then if it's a string um, I need the quotation marks and then I'm going to separate them with the comma. So I would type that into R, I would then type in days and then R will display. So the output I'm representing here in the red. But what makes vectors quite cool is that let's say I had to take my vectors which is now days and I say I want to extract the second element. I then say days and then with square brackets I put the element I want to extract, so I put that in and we'll see that the answer of R, it comes back with Tuesday. Now I can also have a starting point and an end point, so if I want the, the second day all the way up to the fourth day, um, we hit enter in R and we'll get Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. What's also cool is we can pass a vector in the square bracket. So let's create a new vector, call it odd. Uh, so it's all the odd numbers, one, three, five, and seven. And then if we say days and in the square bracket we put a vector, we see that we'll get all the odd numbered days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Now your vectors can also be manipulated and you can do calculations on them. So if I take my vector of odd and I multiply it by itself, we'll get a new vector, which is now the square root, uh, yeah, sorry, the square of uh, each of those odd numbers. So 1, 9, 25, and 49. And we can also do simple maths like odd plus one, and then we'll get all of the even numbers. So that we can see that you can do operations on vectors and you can also extract elements from your vector. And remember, vectors, one dimensional homogeneous elements. Now compare this to say the data frame, where now we have two dimensions, so it's a two dimensional data structure with heterogeneous elements of a given length. And what we're gonna see is that this is kind of like a table and storing data in a table is the most popular object in R. And you can also think of it as a list of vectors of equal length. Now every column and every row needs a name and because it's a list, each column can have different data types. So you can have strings in the one column, you can have integers in the next. But because it's a list of vectors, not a list of lists, it's a list of vectors, it means each element in the column must be the same type. So if we've got a column of strings, you don't want to have an integer um, in that column. You want to keep them all of the same type. And let's maybe look at a very quick example of a data frame. And here you can see it's those three vectors. Um, it's a list of these three vectors and we've got number, day, temperature. So how would we create this in R? Turns out to be very, very simple, very straightforward. Uh, so in R, we would create our vectors. So we have days equals C, open the brackets, type in the information that you need. And then what you do is you uh, create a new object so we can call ours weather frame and we say equals data dot frame and now in the brackets we're just going to list our vectors and then if we had to type in weather frame uh, the R output would be as follows. What's also quite cool with the data frames is just like with the vectors you can put in the position so if I say weather frame one 
what this will then return would be the days vector. And why we want our information in, in these data frames is because then it's very easy to visualize this data. So we could come um, and plot, we just say plot weather frame, and we can now visualize our data. Of course, that's a very ugly looking plot. And what we're going to be doing in the next video is looking at graphs and data visualizations and slowly start moving to, okay, it's not that much better, but we've got color, we've got a few extra elements as well. But we will be discussing that in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you then.